Hello, I'm Jennifer Turner reporting for WNCR-TV. I'm joined live via satellite by Michelle Phillips from the 60s group The Mamas and the Papas and also by Lou Adler, the co-organizer of the Monterey International Pop Festival, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary with a retrospective two-disc CD. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, okay, nice um, I just want to know for our younger audience, what was the International Pop Festival? It was the very first pop festival, and uh, it was uh, an international, we tried to give it an international flavor. We had people from all over the world. We had Ravi Shankar from India. We had uh, Jimi Hendrix and The Who from uh, London. Uh, we, and then we had... Uh, Hugh Masekela from South Africa. Hugh, Hugh Masekela, and then we had... Eric Burden and the Animals, also from... England. Uh, England. And, w and then, of course, we had uh, acts from all over the United States. Simon and Garfunkel, Mamas and Papas. Uh, J Janis Joplin, who was a, an unknown at the time. And uh, uh, Paul Butterfield. From Chicago. From Chicago. Uh, we, we didn't have anyone from North Carolina. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a but shame. But we will the next time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so what was... What was it like during that time, that during the late 60s, um, when this festival was going on? Euphoric. It was an uh, unbelievable time uh, for um, people getting together and people trying to uh, forget uh, an unfortunate war that was going on at that time, very unpopular, uh, looking for the other side. And the other side was uh, music, love, flowers, and peace. Okay. Um, what was it like working with such, you know, legendary artists as Jimi Hendrix, The Who, Simon and Garfunkel? Well, it was good, except at the time we didn't know they were legendary. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and um, actually, we didn't know that they were going to be smashing their instruments all over the stage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was great theater. Okay. Um, so what was the atmosphere like? Um, during the concert, like, was it really mellow or was it more? Yeah, it was mellow. There were no, I mean, for the amount of people that came through Monterey and something like 200,000 people, there were uh, not as many arrests as there were on a normal weekend. And the audience, which was fantastic because they were put through uh, a lot of different changes in music, going from Ravi Shankar to Paul Simon to the Association, uh, to Lou Rawls, to uh, Otis Redding, <laughs> just soaked it all up. Yeah, it was a, it was a fabulous experience to just see all of this talent, this musical talent on on one stage over a three day period, and it was just continu continuous music and it was wonderful. Okay, um, so where can our viewers go to pick up the CD? Well, well Michelle uh, has one. Right. I have. This is what it looks like. <laughs> okay, can you see it? Mm -hmm. all right. Uh, it is available online. It's available Amazon uh, and at Starbucks. It, when you go get your latte, you pick up uh, the retrospective 40-year anniversary Monterey Pop Festival album okay. uh, CD. <laughs> okay, well, thank old you. habits die hard. <laughs> thank you so much for um, talking with us today. We appreciate it a lot. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Uh, thank, thank you very, you very much, much, Jennifer. Okay. Bye. Bye. And this is Jennifer Turner. Here's a CD that you can go pick up at um, your local Starbucks. And thanks for joining me. I'll be um, seeing you next time on WNCR-TV, Channel 41 in Rocky Mount. Thanks. Goodbye.